Hello everybody, it's my TV footing with a brand new video. So today, everything's been going crazy on the channel recently and I just wanted to take a step back and I wanted to bring us back to basics. So today, we are back with another Christian video because I genuinely love these and I've been meaning to speak about this person for quite a while. He's come up a couple of times. I can't not, if I'm honest. I can't not. So if you don't know who Christian is, there's a couple of videos you need to watch. First of all, my Christian, what happens? That'll tell you everything about who he is and what he is just to prepare you for this video. And another video, which we'll bring up later, but that doesn't matter. For now, we're gonna get straight into the nitty gritty. Today, we're talking about Blue Spike. And unlike Megan Schroeder or Clyde Cash, Blue Spike, he's not for one thing. He's not for one specific thing. And I kind of just want to get down to it. So once again, welcome to the Christian Western Channel Wiki. And we're gonna be talking about Blue Spike. Most 13 year old boys only dream of getting to watch an autistic man child shove pieces of Crayola fucking <laughs> model magic up his ass. Blue Spike aka Leon Spike, a 13 year old brat with Asperger's syndrome, according to Chris, got to live that dream when he trolled Chris through two feigned identities. A sweetheart named Julie, aka Julie. This is apparently a meme that is years old, which I've never heard of. Listen, I had to look it up and I can see why it's quite funny. You see, the context isn't funny because it's really sad. Oh, he was doing this during, you know, the virtual fun time and I just, I just, I feel like most of my viewers won't have heard this, and I just, I just need to play it because it comes up quite a lot. That will make a lot more sense as the video goes on. We carry on. Most of the trolling involved Blue Spike having phone sex with Chris for hours each night, listening to Chris doing bits. As Blue Spike was in complete control of Chris, he could have done more sinister things, but night after night, he engaged in nothing but noisy, fabricated, on Blue's end, phone sex. I love this Wikipedia page, because it just, it, it just doesn't care. Draw your own conclusions about Blue Spike's sexuality. Blue Spike's treatment of Chris is considered to be sadistic, even bordering on outright emotional abuse, especially during the mumble call where he revealed himself as Julie, which we will look at later. Oh, this troll was very sexual in nature. He got Chris to do all kinds of dodgy things and commit dodgy things. If you haven't already seen my Clyde Cash video, now would be the time to do it because we're about to talk about Panda Halo, Clyde Cash, and um, just, we're gonna talk about Julie. Julie is one of the main aliases <laughs> A blue spike. It's wild. It gets wild. All of this is written in a way how Chris would have seen it. See, both Julie and Panda Halo were not real. Panda Halo, if you've seen my Clyde Cash video, got burnt to death in a wildfire. Chris didn't really care, even though they were like pretty much dating. Julie, after Panda Halo burnt to death, was then Chris's main sweetheart. Main. <laughs> Julie got kidnapped by her evil brother Max, which was also played by Blue Spike. Chris then traveled all the way to Ohio in a bid to rescue her. <laughs> Unfortunately, because Chris got the wrong address, he ended up at a rundown house in the ghetto that was inhabited by an elderly black woman. Chris, you're a big stinker. You're having a mare. You're really having a mare, son. So that was, that was then where the Clyde Cash incidents happened and Panda Halo died. You know, that's interesting. And then Julie was then number one. This is still Blue Spike. A 13 year old boy, I forget to mention. So Chris then got a letter from Julie, proved her existence to him, at least. They then took their relationship, they then took their relationship to another level, starting with the cyber sex. When Bob Chandler walked in, poor Bob. Bob is obviously Chris's dad. In an infamous video on the 20th of February, 2009, Chris created a sex video for Julie with the help of his inflatable assistant, Kimmy, in order to give Julie an idea of what their first time together would be like. Chris's tender and passionate cries of Julie would prove one of the most striking and memorable of Christian Western channelerisms to this date. Chris is currently cyber sexing a 13 year old boy. He doesn't realize the 13 year old boy. It's still incredibly dodgy. Whatever happens, these trolls are able to get such a grip on Chris and make him do all kinds of things. Who really knows what all their intentions are? I don't really want to know. So here's the main part. One of the most famous Christian videos ever. Julia reveals herself. On the 3rd of March, 2009, Max gained control of Chris's PlayStation Network account. This is the evil brother. And during an hour long audio session, threatened to sell the PSN account and forbid Julie from seeing Chris. Chris was coerced into declaring Billy Mays was the mayor of Christian Western Channel and shoving pieces of his destroyed solitude medallion up his anal cavity. At which point Julie admits that both she and Max were figments of Blue Spike's imagination. The incident shattered both his heart and his anus to 0% and 
Imagine, 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 imagine reading that on any other Wikipedia page. Any other Wikipedia page. We're going to see exactly how the biggest troll of Christian went down. Quite sad. I, in my opinion, it's not very funny at all. But it's, 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 a, it's a watch. It's a watch nonetheless. It's history. Chris, I'm happy you're here. So this is, this is apparently Julie. Hi. This Hi. is Chris. Hi. I've got to put my earphones on. Hey. This is, this is Glide. Hey. Julie? There's something I've been trying to tell you for a while. It's painful to hear. Yes. I've heard it before. Well, I'm gonna be there tomorrow, and I think it's safe to say that I can tell you this with my heartfelt love. Okay. This whole time, Chris, you've been having sex with a 13-year-old boy, you sick fuck. What? Yeah, I'm a 13-year-old boy, Chris. That was... A thing that happened. I don't. I don't want to hold on it much longer because it is really sad. What happened after was a civil war between all of Chris's trolls, saying whether this was too far or whether it was funny. Because this, looking back, is way too far. That's it's too much. Okay, a bit of trolling is a bit, you know, funny. You know, poking fun at someone. This is this is ridiculous. This is way too far. So they kind of were having a go at each other. People even called Clyde Cash a uh, groomer because he apparently groomed Blue Spike into doing this. It's just, it's insane. This kind of exploded into an all out civil war between all these trolls. However, you'll be happy to hear, which is why we can all laugh at this, as it says here, impact on Chris. While one might think that this level of physical and mental abuse would leave lasting scars, Blue Spike's trolling had virtually no evident long-term impact on Chris. Perfect. Just a few weeks after Julie re revealed her identity, Chris had moved on to thinking he had found another sweetheart online. And just a few weeks after that, he had no trouble in believing that he was having virtual sex with a famous Disney Channel celebrity. Vanessa Hudgens, for anyone asking. <laughs> so Chris basically found, supposedly found out the identity of Blue Spike Turns out it wasn't the real identity. It was just another bloke with the name David. On the same day, Clyde Cash allegedly killed Blue Spike. All went a bit haywire then, and Chris was going to reveal the identity, but unfortunately, Bob Chandler uh, died a couple of weeks later, and Chris left the internet. He kind of lost any interest in Blue Spike, and it's just been left there ever since. Overall, Blue Spike is probably Chris's most hated trolls of everyone. It's it's hard to really understand who's in the wrong. Obviously Blue Spike is in the wrong, but was he coerced into it by Clyde Cash? We'll never know. We'll never know. He later admits that what he did was wrong and he regrets it. However, if he had a chance to troll him again, he would, but only for fun. Only only a little bit of fun. He wouldn't like try and ruin his life again cuz that's what they were doing back then. They were trying to literally ruin his life. Hopefully that doesn't really happen again. As bad as a person Christine Chandler is these days, no one deserves that. <laughs> so I hope you guys did kind of enjoy the video. It's been a bit wishy-washy, but ho hopefully it's been fun. I've very much enjoyed it, learning about Blue Spike and being able to get this out to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do some like and subscribe. I'll be your DP14. Catch you in the next video. Even more videos tomorrow. My family is broken. We all need no money. I told them I got it. These niggas is bugging, I get on my face if it ain't about a profit. She all on my body, but I got a girl, yeah, I told her to stop it. She gave me her number and told me to call her if anything happens. I got a blade on my hip, accessories all on my wrist. I had a stunt for the gist, uh, I had a flesh for the kids, uh, venomous, that's how I speak.